Look, I get it. You're after that console feeling, but equally want to experience the unlimited power of a PC. It makes perfect sense, especially when you consider just how many great Xbox titles are on PC Game Pass. Connecting an Xbox controller to a PC or laptop is a super simple thing to do, so let's get stuck in. The quickest option is via a wired USB connection. For this, you'll need a USB cable. Most modern Xbox controllers like the robot white or carbon black wireless gamepads that ship with every new Xbox Series X or S console support USB-C connection, while some older controllers may still rock a micro USB port. So if you need to purchase one for the wired option, best make sure to check the top of your controller to see which cable you'll need. Mine is a USB-C. So all I need to do is pop the USB end into one of the PC USB ports, then simply connect the USB-C into the top of the Xbox controller. If it doesn't respond immediately, then try pressing the Xbox button. And there you go, you're connected and good to go. So that's the wired option. However, if you're anything like me, who's prone to swinging limbs around whenever I score a worldie, you'll probably want to opt for the wireless option and you can connect your Xbox controller to your PC via Bluetooth. Now, before you click off because your PC doesn't support Bluetooth, you should stick around because I have a handy fix for you too. First things first, make sure your Bluetooth is up and running. On your PC, head on over to Settings, Bluetooth and Devices, and there you'll find a toggle to turn your Bluetooth on and off. Let's, let's have it on. Next, pick up your favorite Xbox controller and hold in the pair button found on the top of the gamepad. After a few seconds, the Xbox button should start to pulse. Once it does, let go of the pair button. Back over on the PC, you might see a pop-up notification telling you an Xbox controller is visible, but no worries if you missed it or it just didn't show up. Click on Add Device, select the Bluetooth option from the menu, and select the Xbox wireless controller. Now you're connected and free to flail to your heart's content. If you can't find your controller or for some reason the connection didn't work, which can happen from time to time, you can always try turning your Bluetooth off and on, then try again. Also, be sure to make sure that your Bluetooth drivers are up to date. And in some cases where your controller has turned off after being idle for too long and doesn't want to reconnect, you'll need to ask Bluetooth to forget your Xbox controller, then you can add new device and go from there. So if your PC doesn't have Bluetooth capabilities, the option to connect wirelessly lies with a Bluetooth adapter. Currently I use the Xbox One wireless adapter, which you can still get from sellers like Amazon and eBay, but there are plenty of alternatives out there. Just double check if your OS is compatible with the adapter. You might not know this, but your Xbox controller also has a secret for gamers who regularly jump back and forth from console to PC. If you double tap the pair button on the top of the controller, it'll quickly swap between the last two devices. Changed my life when I figured that out. So that is how you connect an Xbox controller to a PC. If this guide helped you with your controller PC games capades, then please do let us know in the comments. Likewise, if you have any issues, then be sure to chuck them in there as well. We are a community after all, and I'm sure one of us will have your answer. Be sure to check out purexbox.com for all the latest Xbox news, reviews, and updates. And remember to subscribe to the channel here as well. All that's left to do is say bye-bye for now. Cheerio!